Hello and welcome back to the reading vlog. So let's talk about my reading plan for the weekend. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm starting this later than I usually do. Usually I start Thursday morning, um, but I just have had a lot of stuff going on today and I haven't really been able to. I am still working on The Will of the Many. I am so close to being done. This audiobook has been really long, but I am intrigued. It's sort of, um, I'm at about like the 70% mark and my interest is sort of flagging a little bit. Things are happening, like the story is progressing, but it's not, usually by this point in the first book in the series, like we've done a lot of world building, we've done a lot of like character back work, backstory and stuff. Usually by this point, stuff is starting to happen. And, and like things are happening and things have been continuing to happen throughout the book, but it's just like, so far there's no point like this is just spoilers this is just kind of like continuing to try to rise through the ranks in this school that he's in he's continuing to be like put in these situations that are sort of dangerous but he's still doing them and he's still doing them well everything makes sense it's just like there's no like nothing has happened yet i haven't figured out like what the series is going to be about you know like we haven't i i i don't know how to explain it it's like things are happening but also at the same time like nothing is happening so i'm not really sure what to make of that but i'm about 70 percent of the way through i have about three hours left so i am very close to being done uh i am enjoying it i think this is a good book but i'm like waiting i'm waiting for like the real plot to like I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Like I know there's a plot and I know that stuff is going, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I just don't know. Anyway, so once I'm done with that, I got, my mom gave me the audiobook for The Helm of Midnight and I attempted to read that one on an earlier reading vlog and I just was having a really hard time, was struggling with it. So what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm gonna do a co-read where I read and listen at the same time. So once I'm done with The Will of the Many, I'm gonna start on that. So The Will of the Many I'm finishing, I'm gonna start on The Helm of Midnight. And then as far as eBooks, the plan is to read my next arc, which is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle Jensen, which I'm very excited to read because I really enjoyed the Bridge Kingdom series. Uh, and this is Norse inspired, and so I'm really excited to read that. I have a lot of stuff going on this weekend. We have a family party on Saturday. We're going to see friends for New Year's on Sunday night. Um, we're staying the night with them, so I don't really know how much how much reading I'll be able to get done, but I'm doing a lot of work today. I have less work to do tomorrow, so what I'm hoping is is that I'll get a chance to read some more this evening and then really be able to do some reading tomorrow. That's the plan for the reading vlog. Um, the Will of the Many, The Helm of Midnight, and A Fate Inked in Blood. I am still at 123 books for the year. <laughs> if I can get to Sunday and read two more books, just two more, I will have reached 125. And I just feel like that's a good round number, 125. Like, it's way better than 123. So it's an, an excessive amount of books, if you ask me. <laughs> Maybe I should consider slowing down. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Anyways, I am very excited to read The Helm of Midnight because what I did when I was reading it, I enjoyed it. I was just like really struggling with the format and stuff. There's multiple timelines happening in that book. And so I think that doing a co-read is really gonna be the best for me because it is complex. I may end up reading After the Will of the Many because it's such a, it's like a very high fantasy. I may end up reading a trashy romance like a trashy monster romance, we'll see. I really do need to get through some more arcs. I requested some more. I have got to stop doing that, but I just get on NetGalley and I just look around and I get so excited about what I'm seeing on there. And I'm like, ooh, I have to have that. And then like, I have to actually like, <laughs> I have to do work for those. But yeah, that's the plan for the reading vlog. I think I've talked to my husband into going to Barnes and Noble tonight. I got a gift card burning a hole in my pocket. Uh, we'll probably go to McKay's too. And uh, you guys know, if you've watched any of the other reading vlogs, McKay's is my favorite place. And 
I am very likely to find something at McKay's, but I have McKay's money, so it's free. Like I, I sold some books to McKay's and I have McKay's money, so basically it's free books. Girl math. So come along this, uh, this weekend on our reading adventure, reading some high fantasy, potentially some smut, who knows? And uh, I will be back when I have more to update. I don't have much to report in the way of reading, but I did find some great stuff at McKay's and at Barnes & Noble. So I'm gonna show you what that is really quick. So I found, I picked this up because I saw the back, or no, I saw that it was blurbed by Genevieve Cogman. And I read the entire Invisible Library series this year, which a couple of those I did for a reading vlog, I think. But I really liked the cover of this. It's very cool and intricate. I just thought this looked intriguing. The back sounded intriguing. It's about a body snatcher and a princess teaming up to solve a murder. Hello, I'm here for it. So this looked interesting, I bought it. This is like a brand new copy. It's obviously never been read and I got it for $4. I picked this up because I've been wanting to read it and I thought, um, for a long time, my McKay's has had the Owl Crate version of this and I've just not bought it. And I thought this was the Owl Crate version and it's not, it's just the regular edition, but it is in really good shape and it is one that I've been wanting to read. I got this for $9. I really like this cover though. It's really pretty um, and it's embossed. Like it's textured, which I like. I... <laughs> I found a copy of The Mask Falling. This is part of The Bone Season, um, which Samantha Shannon is in the process of rewriting, but I picked this up because it was in really great shape and it's signed. I got a copy of The First Sister. I read this in 2022 and when I finished it, I was like, oh my God, thank God that was over because it was so much. This is like space opera okay but the longer it's been since i've read it the more i think about it and this is really really good this is not for first time science fiction readers i would not suggest that but it is a really great story it's a trilogy the other two books are out and i am hoping to finish this series hopefully but i got this for 650 and it's um it's in really good shape I found a copy of Darkwater Daughter. This is basically brand new. I don't think this has been read. There's no creases on the spine or anything. $6, okay, this just came out in June. Everybody who I follow on TikTok has been raving about this. So I am very excited to try this. I have tried another HM Long and I just couldn't get into it. And so I'm hoping that since this one is like Pirates and Wintertime, I'm hoping that that will be, that I'll like this better. We'll see. This is not supposed to be out yet. This doesn't come out until January 9th. We've got two weeks. But I found at Barnes & Noble the Barnes & Noble Special Edition of Sons of Darkness. I had no plans of buying this. I didn't even know they were doing this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous special edition of this. But I, like, I'm really into this cover. I don't know what this is about. I saw another person that I follow on TikTok pick this up because it was gorgeous for the hard hardcover sale. And um, I had to have it. I just had to. And since it's the hardcover sale, I got 33% off. It was $20. Anyways, rather than the 30 and I had a gift card. So this was essentially free. So. <laughs> Hello, this is beautiful. I don't really have much um, in the way of reading done. I am so close to being done The Will of the Many. I have an hour and a half left. I am hoping to finish it today. So just doing some editing and some cleaning and hopefully finishing this audiobook <laughs> and getting a cake out of the oven. Okay, gotta go. Love you, bye. gotta make this fast <laughs> because apparently I'm out of recording space even though I just cleared off some space on my SD card. I finished The Will of the Many and I've got to say I 
really enjoyed this. At about the 70% mark, I was like, mm, I don't know. But then the ending happened, like the last five pages happened and I was like, this was really good. I think that it definitely lives up to the hype that I've been seeing online, that people who I follow have all really enjoyed this and I definitely understand why. This was really great. If you enjoy really political fantasies, this is a great one. It's a slow burn. It was very good, very well written. It was a great story and I am very excited to see what happens in the next book, but who knows when that will be out. I, <laughs> After that, I was struggling to read something else, so I decided to read Mistletoe by Kimberly Lemming, and that was as cute as it could possibly be. Short little Christmas novella. It was great. Really enjoyed it. It was very short. It was perfect. It's a perfect tiny little palate cleanser after reading that book. And now I am starting on The Helm of Midnight. So, one more thing. <laughs> it finally came in the mail. After Christmas, I had a little Christmas money burning a hole in my pocket, and I decided to buy a little gift for myself, and I have not opened this yet. I purchased, and this is the most expensive book that I have bought, I bought a copy, the Fairy Loot Edition of The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. <laughs> I paid way too much for this. I paid $75 for this, but it's something that I've really been wanting, and... I had the Christmas money, so I figured, why not? But, <laughs> dropped it. here it is. Oh, it's so shiny and beautiful. Here is the edge. The, um, the inside artwork is absolutely beautiful. It's foiled. There's Amina, and let's see if I can get it in the light. See, it's like foiled and gorgeous. I have no idea what's in the back. Did not look at the back artwork. <gasps> it's by some. Um, again, foiled and beautiful. And then the outside cover has like this moon face um, map. It's This is beautiful. I loved this book. My husband is currently reading it. <laughs> And um, I just, I don't know. I love the book. I love the characters. It's a fantastic book. If you haven't read it, I highly suggest it. And it's signed. So this is what I bought with my Christmas money. This is the most expensive book I own. Gosh, I can't, I can't quit looking at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> so I'm very excited to have a copy of this. So that's what I read. That's what I did this week. Uh, happy New Year. Happy January 1. You guys will have seen my 2024 reading goals. That's going to be posted on Tuesday. This is going to come out on Thursday. And then hopefully this week too, there will be a bonus video, which is all the books that I read in December. We did make it to 125 books this year because I read a short little novella at the end. So it was a great reading year. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to start the new year with The Helm of Midnight. So um, that's it for the reading vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.